Shady, let me come to you first, big dog. Me, Tua, Herbert, both drafted in the same year. Top six picks. It's all about this football game. What's at stake between the two quarterbacks? Tua, Herbert, what's at stake? Nothing. What's at stake? Nothing. They're two young quarterbacks, right? They're, they're trying to make their mark. They're getting better each game, each week. Yeah, they're, not, they're not on that level yet. Where we, what's at stake? Is it Brady or Rodgers? No, they're not there yet. They're young quarterbacks that, that are finally becoming the, the franchise, and they're trying to get it going. Nothing at all. Wow. Tua, social media quarterback, they all do, <laughs> you know what I mean? They wow. all do what they think, man. I wholeheartedly agree. I believe this is like that first matchup, not that these careers will pan out like that, but based upon the tension of Brady and Manning back in the early days when it was Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. Now, in retrospect, we're like, Acho, you sound like an idiot. Tom Brady's the greatest of all time. He wasn't back in 2006. Peyton Manning was one of the right, greatest right, right, ever. Right, right. Yeah. Peyton Manning wasn't back in 2006, but we would pin those matchups up against one another. Joy, what I think is at stake is reputation. Right now, many people think that Justin Herbert is the more talented quarterback. And some are starting to turn the corner on Tua as a better quarterback. But I think whoever wins this game, it will be cemented at least for the next five, six, seven months or until next year, who is the better quarterback. That, to me, is what is at stake in one of the most pivotal matchups of the season. But what do you say? I could go there with you. I think that will depend on how the game is actually played, yep. what the game actually looks like. What's really at stake is, is the playoffs. This right. is a game both of these teams very need much need to win. And because of that, it's going to be an intense matchup. It's not just that it's Tua and Herbert and the stories behind both of them and is Herbert just a social media quarterback and is Tua really a franchise guy after this loss last week to the Niners and is he going to be rattled? No, no, no. Both these teams really need to win this game. <laughs> like, this is a big, big-time matchup and has big playoff implications. So that's what's at really, truly at stake. And because there is so much at stake in this game in reality, football-wise, for the postseason, for both of these teams, how both of them plays will actually really be a part of what the story yep, is. Absolutely. So if Tua doesn't have to have some unbelievable, spectacular performance, and for that matter, neither does Justin Herbert, but if they play well enough to get their team to win, that's going to be a notch for them. Don't, don't, yeah. don't let this game be... A, be uh, ugly for either one of these quarterbacks because it's going to be so much more than just the narrative because this game has real implications. It's fascinating. This game, in my mind, it's really going to come down to who's going to win it. Like, it, the stats are going to be cool for this game. If Herbert throws for 350 yards, two of those for 300. But whoever wins is the one that has the bragging rights because truth be told, like Joy says, if the Dolphins win, the Chargers' playoff chances, they're not all but over, but they're going to be sitting at six, yeah. looking at six and seven. Yeah. Once again, they are not on the brink of making the playoffs. The Dolphins can not only win this game and let Tua win this game, but also now the Chargers are sitting on the outside looking in as making the playoffs. Well, then let me come to you, Shady, on this question. They both have a lot to prove. Right. Justin Herbert has to prove that he's a winner. Tua has to prove that he can outduel Justin Herbert, although he has done it before. I'll get to that later. Who has more to prove in this matchup, Tua or Herbert? More to prove? I'm going to say nothing again. Now, who has more to prove? Somebody got more to prove. I, 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 like, does Tua, you think, does he have to outduel I Herbert? I, I, I don't think so. I, like, like, these are two young quarterbacks. We, I think we try to put them on this pedestal. Like they, they're, they arrive, and they're still young dudes. But you think Herbert is currently better than Tua. You said that yesterday, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So yeah. what can Tua do in this football game to change your opinion? He, nothing. He can't do nothing. One guy has more yards and more <laughs> touchdowns. We play the same position. I have more stats than you do, right? They, they, unless Tua goes there to win the championship, then that might be different, right? But if he makes the playoffs and Herbert doesn't... In this game, if Tua throws this, for 400 yards and five touchdowns, one, you leave the game and be like, no, that's, 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 you don't change. That's, mean, that's one game. I just watched Tua get bullied and, 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 make, and, look, and embarrass himself. And I still think he's a solid quarterback. It's one game. This is young quarterbacks. This is not top of the line guys like, like Brady and, and, and Rodgers. Don't you have to become not top of the line guys by playing that, games that, like that, this? That's the word right there. Become. They got time to do that. They got to get better and better. They're still young. They're still young. They're still learning. They're still learning. See, I, 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 I can't do that. I think Herbert has more to prove in this game because Herbert is the one who's been crowned. Herbert is the one who's already protected, mm -hmm. who already has the excuse machine. In the garage. Lined up. It's, it's electric because it's California. Up. Yes. It's laser beam. It's very efficient. <laughs> it doesn't use a lot of energy. So because of that and because of what I said about the implications of this game, the fact that they really need to win this game to keep their playoff hopes alive, 
Herbert should win this game and he should have a big performance. And when you get put into that category that you are above your peers, the expectations should yep. follow that. So to me, while everyone's talking about, oh, like two has more to prove because he's not on Justin Herbert's level, to me, it's like there's different levels, then Justin Herbert should win this game. It's at home. The Dolphins have been on the road th this whole week. They haven't yeah. gone home. It's Sunday night, prime time. You really like that? Should win this game. It's fascinating. I think there's a lot of pressure in my mind on Justin Herbert going into this game. Because truth be told, like, Herbert has to do so much to win a narrative. If he loses, he loses a narrative for him. But if he wins, he better win and play well. Because people don't brag about Herbert being a winner. They brag about Herbert being a stat haver, like LaShawn McCoy. Oh, he got the numbers. So now Herbert not only has to win, he got to win and have numbers. Shady, at least speak to me about this. You were drafted the same year as Beanie Wells, right, out of Ohio State. Do you recall that first matchup against Beanie Wells? No, I don't. I don't remember that. Like, I mean, the difference is I had more yards and numbers than he did, so it can't really be an argument. My stats look better than yours. My, my play, my tape look better than yours. So, for example, if you ask who's better than Tua and Herbert, everybody's, everybody's going to say Herbert. Everybody says it all the time. They talk about the talent, the 6'5", the, the arm, the arm strength, the talent. Like, you, you, you can see it. So it's hard to make it a real argument for Tua when everybody sees what I see. Like, I'm better than you. You know it, Tua. Tua, Tua probably will argue this. He's like, you know what? Well, right now, he's better. He's just a better player, better player with more stats. So I, you, you try to make it a, a, a real, like, competitive thing here. You, it's hard to do that when one guy, right, is, is more talented and... He has better numbers. It's hard to compare them. But by that, by that measurement, Joe Burrow is much, much better than both Tua and Justin Herbert. Why's, why's Joe? Why's played Joe? in the Super Bowl. They were all in the same draft class, and he just played in the Super Bowl. That, Justin Herbert has yet to make the playoffs. Tua has yet to make the playoffs. He I went mean, to the Cincinnati Bengals. It's not like he went to the Kansas City Chiefs. That team ain't that bad now. Hold on, they ain't that bad. Who? The Bengals? Yeah. I would not now. Any quarterback would love to have that roster. Not Any quarterback the, would love not to have the roster that. he went to. Any quarterback would love to have that wide receiver the roster, and the running back. Right now, what do you mean? Not, yeah, not she's the saying the roster not the roster he, he was to. drafted into. Not the, not the one Mar he went Chase to. Chase was not there, sir. The Cincinnati, the Higgins the Cincinnati Bengals okay, so are you, not okay, an organization so, that we consider so, to be Super but, Bowl but, contenders. We didn't even consider them to be Super Bowl contenders after they added Jamar Chase. Yeah, yeah I can argue with Joe. I guess Joe went Super Bowl. I, I get that. I, I'm not I actually that. saying that. I'm saying that you're measured against your peers, and they are all in the same draft class. Mm -hmm. we, so, so you are measured up against your peers, as you should be. This is a, this is a competitive okay. business yep. and, and a results-driven business. Yeah. I agree with you. I think if, you, if everything is the same, right, like I don't have a bunch of championships, I don't have 15 more playoff appearances than you do, I don't have all these other extra team accomplishments, then we get to the stats. Right. And that's where they are right now. But, and you're talking about the eyeball tests and all that. I get that. But this game is going to be a part of the Justin Herbert to a narrative which will follow them for their entire career. And it should, because they were in the same draft class and Tua was taken above Herbert. So it, they should be measured up against their peers. We, we do it all the time. That's why we measure Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. That's why we bill Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes. That's Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. Like, if you're, if you're in this uh, A lot of that's space, numbers. A lot, a lot of that's more the, the stuff they do on the field. What do you mean? Yeah. Elaborate, elaborate. I'm just saying, like, like, so Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, they, they putting out big numbers. Those MVP favorites. Of course. Right? Okay, the other, you talked about Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. Like, they was putting up big numbers. They was, so that's why we was doing it. So my thing is, with, even with Joe Burrow, so Joe Burrow didn't win a championship, but he went there. I respect that. If we fast forward this thing 10 years from now, right, and Joe don't win a championship and Herbert don't win a championship, and his numbers are better, they're going to say that Herbert is, is better. So you can go off of. So I don't go about that. I don't go about getting there. I go about Winning championships, or are you going to get stats? I guess, let me ask you this. One another one. Let me hit you in your heart. Um, in my heart? Yeah, you say, that, you, you say that Justin Herbert's significantally more talented. Everybody would say that Herbert's... Am I lying? Hold on. Am I lying? Do you think he's more talented than Tua? Um, I believe physically, but I think there's more to talent than physical. Okay. Um, now Sounds like yes and no, but go ahead. Yeah, of course. Let me ask you this then. Jalen Hurts. Justin Herbert is way more physically talented. Way more physically talented. Mm, I, don't you can't, I don't know about that. Why? Well, first and foremost, we know simply based off draft, class, draft status that many I'm not, people I'm not, deem... I'm not going by draft. I'm just going, but just go by... Why, go by why is he way more talented? That's my question. Because if you want to talk about passing yards, passing touchdown statistics that have been amassed... I said the... stats. I said stats. I never said pass or... I just said stats. Okay. So... Justin Herbert still has more stats... Right now. ...than Jalen right. Hurts. Okay, right. Correct. But I don't think you would come up here and say that Jaylen, Justin Herbert is, more, is better than Jalen Hurts. Hmm... 
He's having a better year. He's, been, he's, he's having a better career so far. Sure, but who's he better? Is. Herbert is probably – he's probably better. He's probably better. Okay, you're consistent. But, no, I mean, I, how can I not say he's better? First of all, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Hurts guy, right? Now, you, I thought you were going to say he's more talented. I was waiting for you to say that because Jalen can run and throw, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want to count that, but that counts. If I look at their whole career right now, how can I, how can I say that Hurts is better than, than Herbert right now? I because can't say that. Here's, here's why I can He's having a better year. Here's why I but can one, say that. One guy right in the same draft class, one guy has more yards, more production. I got to go with him. The reason I can say it is because Jalen Hurts isn't messing things up. Tua this year isn't messing things up. This that year, matters. you're talking about this year, so so it's hard to really judge. No, them. last year. Okay, so I, I'm going to their career. You talk about Beanie Wells? three years. Beanie, okay, so? So go two years. So, that's, so my thing is this. Let's go their career. So now we can have this real argument 10 years from now, six years from now, five years from now. See what they really become. I can't argue this. Definitely says nothing at stake because they're still young quarterbacks trying to get their thing off. They're trying yeah, to get their I, st- I don't so. think that it's, it's a, at stake as far as the the story is written based off of this game. It's a it's a regular season game in the third year of their career. Now there are big implications to winning and losing this game as far as the postseason goes. They both of these teams need to win this game. They're both in a playoff push. But it's not like okay, books closed. Of course <laughs> like, not. Two is better. But a chapter Herbert's is better. written. But a chapter a is chapter written. Is a chapter is written, is written like, in the story. I cannot understate. And who's and on all the quarterbacks in this draft class? The chapter that's written. Who's the number one guy? From everything you've done, so, so, when, you, hold, so when, you enter, when you enter the league yep. to right now, yep. you tell me it's Burrow? Burrow, it's for Burrow. sure. I, I would say Burrow. And, and, and I, I mean, that's, that's not a bad one. He, he can't be. He went to the Super Bowl, so I can right. give you that. He didn't win. And he's in the MVP conversation it's, this year. Yeah. In 12 years, they won't, they won't carry that you went to the playoffs Nobody, or the championship. Nobody will talk about that. They might. It, no, they don't. What, 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 when they talk about a quarterback that's if going to the Super Bowl? Tua, Dan. If Tua, Dan, Herbert, if Tua man. Herbert. Okay. Tua, Herbert. Joe Burrow and Jalen Hurts. Mm-hmm. I guess we got to put Mac in there. Is, that, is Mac in that draft class? Uh-uh. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I always forget he's the year after. Those four, right? Yep. The end of their careers, let's say they all play for 12 years, and Joe Burrow's the only – because they all play consistently how they're playing now, and Joe Burrow's the only one that went to a Super Bowl. He had a better career. Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk about they it. Don't, they don't play Cam for Newton stats. went to a Super Bowl. They don't play for stats. They ain't winning. They, they don't go to your stats. They don't play for just stats. Yo, it's, 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 if these dudes – if all these guys are up for – real quick, they go to, all, go to the Hall of Fame. They're up for Hall of Fame. Yep. They ain't not going to be talking about, well, look, this year he went to the Super Bowl. They don't care about that. Either you win or you lose. And if you don't win, they're going to go to your stats next. Well, he has 200 touchdowns and uh, 60,000 60, uh, passing yards. They ain't going to know he almost won a Super Bowl. That sounds crazy. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that a lot more. Coming- Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak. And go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.